The first time I came to uh, Paris uh, is in 1990. I was invited to uh, show my film in Cadell Women's Film Festival. Yeah. And second time is about 2005 years. Yeah. One of my film uh, attend the film market in Cannes Film Festival. So I spent there uh, about a few days. At that time, I don't have much time to look at the, uh, the city, you know, the different streets and the culture in Paris. So I'm glad that uh, I bring my film and also come with my colleagues and to join the film festival and to meet the people, the audience uh, here. After I come back from the Cadell Film Festival to Taiwan and some of my good friends, of course they are women, uh, they are interested in organizing a film festival and uh, I'm interested too because I think I was inspired by Women's Film Festival in France. Yeah. So we work together and uh, we uh, pick up some films from Women Make Waves in New York and also we invited some film from England. I like to make a film festival, you know, uh, Women Make Waves Film Festival in Taiwan. Uh, because I came from the film industry, I start my film career as a continuity. Yeah, but I also study in New York City. You know, my uh, I graduated from NYU. Yeah, and when I start to uh, work in the film circle, uh, I think uh, I. I'm not so ambitious to be a director, but I just feel there are so few uh, feature film women directors in the film industry. It's difficult to find a chance to make a feature film, but uh, comparing with other uh, women directors, I, I was lucky because before I went to the United States, I had made some documentary for the Central Motion Picture Company. It's a major film studio in Taiwan. And after I come back to uh, Taiwan, I have a chance to be the assistant director you know, to a very famous and uh, uh, main director. Yeah. So I work with the, his team as a continuity girl and as an assistant director. But I feel a little bit lonely you know, before I went to uh, uh, France and to see the movie, women's movie here. So I think if we have chance to make a film festival by women's group, that would be uh, excellent. So in 1993, we start to make a women's film festival, but we don't have much money. <laughs> That's one of the problems. But finally, we get uh, some little money, then we think, OK, we can start the film festival. So that's the, in 1993. And I didn't expect the film festival to go so far, you know. This year is 30 anniversaries, you know. And my film is also invited by the film festival in Taiwan. After 1993, more and more women and also uh, some intellectuals, uh, film critics, they are interested to see more women's film, you know, by Taiwan women's director. So step by step, you know, we, we get some more uh, financial aid and we are more organized. So after five years, we organized Taipei Film Association in Taipei. And later on, we changed the name to Taiwan Women's Film Association. And I'm, I was chosen to be the director of the association. But now I'm the uh, advisor only. Yeah. And for the film festival in Paris this time, <laughs> we planned it for many years, actually. Yeah. But uh, we are lucky, you know, finally we get the support from the Ministry of Culture. We are helped by, you know, uh, Taiwan Cultural Center in Paris, yeah. So everything seems goes smooth. And we are happy to cooperate with the forum, the Me Image. It's the first time, you know, a Taiwan Film Festival to cooperate with, with uh, a art, you know, film theater here. So we are very appreciate for your, you know, uh, help, yeah. In the first years, uh, I'm not so powerful, actually. <laughs> and this year, we also uh, signed a contract with uh, Forum the Image. Yeah. But I am not uh, belong to uh, Women Awakening. But uh, for the first year and the second year, we really you know, cooperate with Women Awakening in some aspects. For example, the after screenings Q and A, you know, and we have more discussion about the film subject matter and about the content, 
about the warmest point of view or something like that. Yeah. I was born in Penghu Island. It's a small island near Taiwan Strait. Yeah. But I grew up in Kaohsiung City, the second uh, biggest city in Taiwan. Yeah. And I, I'm uh, Mandarin speaking. I'm not Aboriginal, uh, yeah, but uh, I like different kinds of culture. So uh, when we start Women Film Festival, we like to invite you know, different you know, aspects uh, to uh, make the, all the culture together, make diversity you know, of different culture in, in Taiwan. And the Aboriginal uh, culture, Aboriginal life is uh, one of our uh, solutions. So in this film festival, we have a special program on uh, uh, pay respect to Hu Tai Li. Yeah. Even she is a Mandarin speaking, you know, uh, woman director, but uh, she, so she went to different tribes and to, to shoot film, shoot her documentaries. She write books about them, yeah. And she's my very good friend, but <laughs> it's sad you now she, she passed away last year, yeah. After 30 years, uh, because I don't see many uh, women's film, but for this film festival, I do see most, uh, all of them, you know, uh, I feel very uh, happy, you know, to see different generations of women's films. And uh, one or two of them, they, they are very successful. In uh, local or international film uh, festival, they, they win awards, they compete with men, you know, directors. So I think women's film uh, uh, progress, they encourage themselves, you know. When we start in 1993, the still situation is quite different, yeah. At that time, not many uh, women directors in the uh, film industry, yeah. But uh, after 1995, we have more and more documentary, you know, uh, uh, women uh, documentarists. But within uh, these uh, 10 years, you know, there are more women directors. They compete with male directors in uh, Golden Horse Film Festival or Taipei Film Festival. And they, they get an award of, of uh, like uh, best director or best feature film, yeah. And more and more women, uh, director, they work for TV series, and the the, the bus office is very uh, su successful. Yeah, but I think uh, for women's filmmaker, we still need uh, to have more uh, resources. Like uh, we don't have a network like a distribution, and most of of uh, distributor in Taiwan is male, but but they are you know very friendly to <laughs> women filmmakers. Yeah. But if we have more uh, distributor, you know, I mean, women distributor or women uh, di uh, producer, maybe the situation will change again. Yeah. So uh, we are happy that we can see the the improvement, you know, and step by step. But still, we have to work hard you know, to make the, our films uh, to be known by the uh, different audience in different countries. Yeah. Since uh, the Women Film Festival has lasted uh, 30 years, and we bring different kind of uh, issue, you know, like uh, gay and lesbian, you know, film program, or you know, harassment, you know, in the family. Or even now we ha we have Me Too movement, yeah. But in early 1980, this kind of topic is taboo, you know. Nobody have the chance to make documentary or a feature film, you know, uh, dealing with that kind of subject matter because we're still in the uh, limitation of martial law, you know, and not just for women filmmakers, also for uh, men filmmakers, yeah. The situation changed, I think, maybe because we showed the film, and the film, they have new <laughs> thought, and they have different kind of expression of uh, uh, telling the film. So uh, for the audience, they can see different kind of culture, especially the, the uh, uh, men and women's relationship in Western countries. They, they can accept different kind of gender, you know, uh, tendency, you know, yeah. And that help. And also after the film screen, uh, the film festival, we uh, distribute uh, DVD to the uh, college to the uh, high school, so they can purchase those kind of uh, DVD. So, so uh, they, they open their mind 
And sometimes the, uh, the Women Film Festival, the team, they also go to uh, boys high school to show the film there. Yeah, so, and also uh, the committee board, you know, sometimes when they choose the film, they ask men to be one of the members. So I think that changed our society atmosphere at the same time. So now we, we are the first country in Asia, we passed the uh, gay or lesbian, they can get married, yeah, yeah, so, and it's uh, permitted by law, yeah, so uh, Taiwan is the first country in Asia, yeah, and also we have a uh, female president, that also encourage women uh, to get involved in politics, uh, but not me, <laughs> filmmaking or uh, film art cannot change the society, but they can open the mind and the thought uh, to the audience and yeah. Test of life is based on a true story, yeah. And the real person will appear after the screening. She will join with me you know, for Q&A this evening. And I live in Taichung City and uh, my home is very near to a uh, museum, uh, Taichung Museum of Art. Yeah, and there are many different kinds of uh, restaurants in front of the, the museum. And I like to tell a Taichung story, yeah. And when I meet the, the character, you know, uh, in real life, and uh, her story uh, touched me, so I write a script with her, yeah. We spent about five years to finish the script, the script, and we also invite a professional script writer to work with us, yeah. So finally, we, we finished the script and we got the money to make the film, yeah. I just want uh, to tell the story of uh, life you know, through the food because the, the main character, she ran, she ran a restaurant yeah, and uh, she has some problem in her marriage but she wants to uh, be independent. So at that time she has uh, support from her good friends. Yeah, of course they are like sister, you know, sister food. So they get along very well. And, and her daughter succeeded, you know, her career in uh, managing the restaurant. That's the story, yeah. So hope you can come to the theater and to see the movie, yeah. I think uh, we, uh, we, are program we program this uh, selection for about two years. We choose the uh, film, uh, not just because it's a good film. We also uh, uh, hope the women we recommend or we select, they keep going, they continue to make movies and they, they, they are very concentrated on the filmmaking itself. So we like to int introduce uh, their works and also their, their hard working situation to the audience. Yeah. And every, every uh, woman director has their own story. Yeah. Some of their film dealing with their own kind of uh, biographical film. But I think it's touching, yeah. For example, Gaga, you know, uh, deal with, uh, you know, the directors, you know, tribe, uh, her home, yeah, I think it's very touching. And she's more ambitious to make more film like that, yeah. And uh, also some other directors, they have their uh, talent. So we only know Hou Xiaoxian, Yang De Chang, or, you know, uh, Cai Mingliang. But I think the women film uh, director, they, they are also very talented and we like the film to be seen in Paris, in France. Yeah. I am very appreciative for the uh, promotion and the publicity and also the cooperative you know, relationship between uh, Forum, the Image and the Taiwan Women Film Festival, yeah. I think it's very good, you know, uh, beginning. I hope there are more Taiwan film can be introduced in Paris, yeah. Maybe documentary, maybe uh, more films by, you know, Aboriginal filmmakers, yeah. We feel it's very good, you know, we see the publicity here uh, doing very well, yeah. But we also working very hard for uh, Taiwan, you know, publicity now. So we have a website and, and even Chinese, you know, Weixing, they also uh, report this event, yeah. So we feel uh, it's worthy you know, for this film festival. And thank you for all your help. Mm -hmm.